Charlton County school employees will not be returning to work for a while there. Their family member is a presumptive positive case for coronavirus. This comes after preliminary testing showed a 29-year-old Charlton County woman tested positive for COVID-19. News from Jack's reporter Corley Peel is joining us live from the Southeast Georgia Health Systems Hospital campus and showing us how it took that woman more than once before doctors started treating her for coronavirus. Kent, that woman actually came to this hospital on Saturday, Saturday with respiratory issues, but health officials say she was released because she didn't need to be hospitalized. But her symptoms got worse, so she came back here on Monday, and preliminary testing showed that she tested positive for COVID-19. And after learning that she has two relatives that are school employees, the Board of Education decided to take extra precautions. Two school employees in Charlton County won't be returning to school for a while after officials learned they are close relatives to a woman who is a presumptive case for the coronavirus. Parents like Katrina Williams say the Board of Education made the right choice. I just feel like they're taking safety precautions with the parents and the kids, keeping us updated with what's going on. School leaders didn't say which schools the employees work at. They say the school employees will not be working for a recommended time as an appropriate measure to ensure the health and safety of our school population. It can be a big thing, you know, so we have to follow the rules. School leaders say they're providing custodians with additional training and will focus on sanitizing high touch areas. Desiree Stubbs is a student and says the school has already been taking precautions. They made us wash our hands and get hand sanitizer and stuff like that. Are you worried at all? No, not really. Okay. If the kids are washing hands, sanitizing, I think we'll be fine. School officials say the two employees will be absent for a recommended time, but it's unclear how long that will be. And at this time, the school district does not have any plans for closures. Reporting live from Camden County, Corey Peel, Channel 4, The Local Station.